Fernando y amigos de GSY. Nos encontramos en Cicuán Casino, donde se encuentra llevando a cabo la edición número 165 de Cage Warrior, el cierre de temporada de esta empresa con un lleno total. Y les traemos todos los detalles aquí en GSY Deportes. Oh my God, um, start to finish, it was an amazing time. Start to finish, I, oh my God, walking out, even walking out behind Benny, I was screaming, nope. When his, his team was like, let's go Benny, I would scream behind him, nope, nope. I was just trying to get in his head the whole time. I was trying to put on a show for everyone the whole time. And I think start to finish, it was a great fight and it really showcased my, a lot of other skills that haven't been showcased. My endurance, my savviness, my fight IQ, and my, I mean, we already knew I had that fucking right hand, but I got to show that a lot today. Antonio Orozco, quien con tan solo tres meses en la Academia de MMA, logra su primera victoria con el equipo, demostrando ser un digno representante de esta gran Academia. I left my old gym, the arena, to go feature over there and have a new experience. And that was an amazing experience. I, fighting with a bunch of professionals. If you know what the MMA Academy is, it's basically a bunch of professionals from around the world come and have a fight camp in San Diego. That being said, everyone is a dog, everyone's on the hunt, everyone, you feed off of everyone and you learn things from young professionals that are all chasing their dreams. It's been a great time um, training for that. La preparación física y mental es de suma importancia el día de la pelea y Anthony nos comenta cómo la pasó previo y a su llegada con el equipo. And I'm a neurotic guy. I always overthink things, so I wrote it in my journal. I just needed to not be alone those days because right when I came down and started to join with the MMA Academy and the coaches at 3.30 today, oh, it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulders and I could focus on what I do best, which is fight MMA. Focus on why I'm here, which is to kill someone, you know, rather than to talk them up into beating my ass. So it's, um, it's, it's a scary thing, the fight game. Con segunda victoria como peleador profesional de MMA, Anthony cierra el 2023 celebrando en grande con su familia, amigos y nuevos seguidores. Man, I just want to go give a hug to every single person that came out for me. I feel like I gained some new fans today. I love my fans that are, have already been here. I call them the AO Army because those are my initials, Anthony and Roscoe. And they really are an army and they're always standing for me. They're always clapping for me. They're always supporting me. And I do it for them. I do it for everyone, honestly. I just want to be an entertainer. I think it's the funnest job in the world. Para que es igual deportes, Xavier Torres. Este segmento es traído a usted por Novo Brasil. 